lost against Tiger. I lost against Zylo. Both of them were Battle City finalists and I lost against both. Yeah, granted, they were both close, but I don't know what I could have done to either of them to win, but maybe, uh, maybe if I change a few cards, but I don't know how I'm going to win. I just need to start winning against these guys. You should know. stop holding back if you ever want to consider getting out of this. Oh, great. Art, you were sent here Ooh. too. Yes, of course. But you're pitiful. How pitiful. could this happen to you? I... Of course it would happen to you anyways. That's oh, what is... Question. what is that supposed to mean? Well... Let's see how your win record has gone. Hmm. Because I can remember you losing quite a lot before mm. you know what happened. <laughs> you were you've been following me. Following you. Well, I happened to find you. Well, you summoned the legendary Rainbow Dragon, but you held back. I didn't. You ever do? I didn't want to tribute the monster. I thought it'd be better if I had more than just one monster on the field, just in case. Well, there's where it went wrong for you. What you should have done is what, well, Silo done. He tries he sacrifices his monsters to make at one the most powerful ever. <sighs> oh, but is that your play style? No. You should have found another way then. I I also was using a clean version of the Crystal Beast. I didn't use the one I made before. I thought uh, that maybe playing it clean would help me give me ideas for my for my deck. Yes, and well normally that's great. But this is quite the life or death situation. Exactly, I thought if I thought if I could come up with something new, I can help find something to help me survive here. Okay? Yes. Coming up with something new does not take precedence over actually surviving. But you would know that. Yeah, I should have because of how, because of what we went through, right? What yeah. I had to do to get to stop your plan from coming into fruition. The only reason why I'm my my plan failed is because the thing possessing me was a creature of, em of emotional power not logical <laughs> yeah you were very egotistical while during that time yeah that's what I'm meaning and the e um, emotional creature will always fall to the logical creature since well its plans were foolish hmm <sighs> But then, oh, it oh. did almost be fine in the end. It took both me and him to take down that thing. Yeah, and then his whole plan was, well... He played you, he played Ryan until the end. <laughs> I'll admit it did come very close. I mean, yeah. heck, even the Earthbounds were afraid. It tried to, it tried to tempt me back into coming in back into its control to, to stop it. I... that was not part of the pla its plan. Yeah. I don't know where that actually came from, now that you when? mention it. What are you talking about? His plan never involved trying to tempt you back into the darkness. That would have been a bit foolish, since you've already it... proven to not... Well, free... appreciative of the powers of darkness. I have no idea where that came from. It was the Earthbound itself. It was afraid of being absorbed by this thing. It came to me after during after one of your little sessions with me. It tried to <sighs> tempt me back into its power so that we, we may unite against it. It was afraid. Hmm. Damn. I think you might be right, but this might be something different about it. That doesn't matter right now. Well, all I know is it's, it's gone from my body. I know it's gone, right? That can be debatable. Nothing ever leaves. Mm. But it just we just have to wait to see if it's actually gone or not. Like I have been. But anyways, 
let's stop talking about this. You need a win. I need a win. Oh. Before I tell you all I know about what's been happening, and that you know more about why we're here, some one of us needs to win. All right. Okay. Well. You know what? Yeah, and I want to prove that my play, my way of dueling is not so weak. Uh, it's not about being weak. It's about being foolish and not doing your best. You know what? I'll even use, I'll even use the crystal beast against you. Fine. I'll get him. <laughs> but anyways, well, let's get this let's going. Do. Yeah. Let's duel. I'll take the first move. And I begin by activating Clock Tower of Prison. Alright. Along with that, a normal summon Destiny Arrow, Decider. And of that, course. I uh, equip him with Cyclone Blade. Uh, with this, I end my turn. Well, let's see. Oh, this will be nice. If I remember correctly, that Clock Tower is not that good of. Not that good for me. Well, I'll activate my spell card, Crystal Tree. Ah, the Crystal Tree. <laughs> and then I normal what summon you... my Topaz Tiger. I believe you're familiar with its effect? Yeah, I know what it does. Well, let's give you a little refresher course. Topaz Tiger, attack decision guy and gain 400 attack there goes your monster and your equip spell well a word of free sacrifice I'll end my turn after that well here comes something else I normally summon destiny or drill guy and now along with that I activate this effect summoning celestial Ugh. now the battle phase Drill guy attacks your Topaz Tiger, destroying them both. Yes, but Topaz Tiger can go into the spell and trap card zone. Well, of course, but Destiny or Celestial, when he attacks, I may destroy one monster, one spell of the card from my on my opponent's side of the field. I destroy uh, a Crystal Tree. No! You knew what it was able to do. Of course, I know. And you take 1,600 damage from Celestial. All that, right. I end my turn. My draw. Well. And the clock keeps ticking. Well. When you have one tiger, why not have two? Ah. Of course. Topaz tiger. Destroy Celestial. Now at them. You destroy Celestial. I'll end my then turn let's there. See what happens next? Ah, uh, well, this is good. I set one card to face down and end my turn. Hmm. That's a third counter. Yes, this is. I have to end this quickly. Alright. I'll set this card down. And I'll have Topaz Tiger attack you directly. Alright. Alright. I'll end my turn there. <laughs> I end my turn. What? Well, of course. Because you're locked down now. Because the clock tower has gotten its fourth counter. Which makes it so that I no longer take any battle damage. Yes, but you can still take direct damage. Direct attacks do still count as battle damage. You should know that. Well, let's test out that theory. I flip some in my Dust Knight. To send Amber Mammoth to the grave. And I normal summon Carbuncle. Ah, oh, how cute. A little tiny Carbuncle. <sighs> well, Carbuncle is going to attack you directly in retaliation for that. No! Uh. Dust Knight! <laughs> Topaz Tiger! <laughs> I don't feel a thing. Dang it. I have to end my turn. Ah, uh, well. 
I'll just end my turn again. Because you can't do anything. Alright. Unless, of course, you use Rainbow Dragon's second effect later on. But, do you want to sacrifice so many of your cards for that? Or is one of mine? <sighs> <laughs> this is why you're a mediocre duelist. Shut up. I've defeated you before in the past. Yes, I'll end my turn. Yes. We know that. I end my turn again. Well, might as well set this down. Alright, alright. I'll play my Crystal Blessing, allowing me to place my Ember Mammoth into the Spell and Trap card zone. Allowing me to s activate my spell card, Crystal Beacon. Alright, let's see what you do. I'll pick my Sapphire Pegasus. Using his effect, I can put one Crystal Beast from my spell into my Spell and Trap card zone from my deck. And I choose Amethyst Cat. Five down, four to go then. Yes. And now, I'll overlay, I'll overlay both Topaz Tiger, Pe Pegasus, and Dust Knight. Come on out. Knight, fill of, uh, whatever your name, I'm just calling you, uh, Butterfly Agent. Knight Papillo Operative. Whatever. And now I activate her effect. Discarding one overlay unit, she gains attack for each overlay unit she currently possesses. Uh, of course. <sighs> but even for attack. <sighs> I wish. I have to end my turn, because I know it would just be futile. <sighs> well, let's end this charade. I normal summon DQ. And when he's normal summoned, he, tr he gets treated. As a destiny hero, and then I activate this, <sighs> sending two cards to the graveyard, and then summoning two more D cubes from my deck. <sighs> but You're... this ends it all by sacrificing all three of them. I special summon destiny hero, dogma. What? Come forth with your dog might. Show us the hero who faces the people's judgment. Go, destiny hero, dogma. <sighs> It's a strong one, that's for sure. I enter my battle phase and Dogma attacks your knight papilla operative. Well, I won't let you do that. I activate my trap, Scrap Iron Scarecrow to protect it. Ah, uh, of course. You have your well, clock tower. My turn. You have your clock tower, I have my Scrap Iron Scarecrow to protect me. Yes, but during the standby phase, Destiny of Dogma's effect activates, halving your life points. <sighs> Dang it! It doesn't matter that you're going to turn with the hill off him. Because he is, he's finished. He's done his mighty effect. I'll activate Philopative's effect. Sending Pegasus, she'll gain another 300. Now, she's strong enough to destroy your monster. Go! Alright. I won't take damage, at least. <laughs> I'll end my turn. Of course you'll do. Alright, I set one card ace down and end my turn. So, how are you liking this lockdown? <laughs> <laughs> I summon my Emerald Tortoise. And I'll end my turn. Ah... Uh, you know, you're talking really big, but you haven't once tried to attack me. Well, I have everything planned out. Anything you can do, I can counter. And I'm just waiting for everything to fall into place. <sighs> I'll end my turn. I'll set a card face on and end my turn. It doesn't seem like much action. No. I've got you on a complete lockdown. 
Well, let's ha let's double down this lockdown then. I play my field spell, Rainbow Ruins. You do know two uh, field cards can be on at the same time. I'm fully aware. I'm also fully aware that I have enough or I have enough Crystal Beast monsters in the spell and trap card zone to protect myself. Ah, uh, of course. Ooh, and what is this? Ah, uh, well, just wait for this. Soon enough, if what I think is going to happen, it will happen. You'll uh. see something quite amazing. Fine, I summon out my attack gainer. And now, I overlay both. I. Both. Topaz. No. Ruby Carbuncle. An Emerald Tortoise. Power Tool Dragon. Ah, Power Yes. I'll if end my turn there. Normal, if this was uh, what was happening usually, then I would have thought you would be going for a live stream, but... You know uh, I have no longer possessed that card anymore. And you know I no longer possess Red Dragon Archbeam. I end my turn. You're dragging to destruction with my life giver. Polar opposites. Yeah. But when we get out of this, there's something we need to see because, well, I, I have a feeling that Ryan's here. I've been looking for him, but I haven't been able to find him anywhere. Yeah. I'll end my turn. Well, well, well. If you were just a bad duel, then this wouldn't happen. This wouldn't take as long as it has. We've gone almost 10 turns more than my clock tower needed. Shut up! I'll have to end my turn. I'll figure out a way to destroy that clock tower prison. Oh, well, if I don't do it fast, since well, it would love. You would love to see what will happen to them. <laughs> You're not even willing to attack me. You're scared of what I may have. Or, the cloud of cards just doesn't like me and haven't given me any of the cards I need. Hmm. When has the heart of a card ever been with you? Well, right now, I activate polymerization. Me and my big mouth. Using to get a Destiny or Dasher and Trap Eater to summon. Destinero, Deadly Guy! It's not that strong. Actually, Deadly Guy's effect. Sending full, uh, fusion subs to the graveyard. And then also, Destinero, Dunker to the graveyard to make him gain 1,200. <sighs> I enter the battle phase. Deadly Guy, attack his power to dragon. Well, I'm activating my trap card. Rainbow Path. Sending Topaz Tiger. I'll stop your attack. Ah. Uh, fine. I'll let this slide for now. But my next attack will not be as... Merciful. <sighs> Alright. I'll set this card down, and I'll end my turn. <laughs> Not attacking, are you? Mm. Well, I'll do the flavor then. I'll activate D Shane and I equip the Deadly Guy with it. Make That's what I thought. 500 attack. Then his effect activate, sending four chains to the graveyard and Dynamite Guy to the graveyard. <laughs> Go attack the pillow operative. Like I'll let that happen. Scrapper and Scarecrow, stop his attack. Okay. If that's what you want, I'll end my turn. Yes. Yes, just the card I needed. Now, I normal summon Sapphire Pegasus, activating its effect. I can bring out Cobalt Eagle 
And now, with every monster, every crystal beast revealed, I can now special summon Rainbow Dragon. Now, let's go into the battle phase. Rainbow Dragon, tear down the deadly guy. Ah, <sighs> well, that will have to happen. I'll end my turn there, as I'm fully aware your clock tower prison is still in effect. Well, I activate that detonator dash effect. Oh. My graveyard summoning detonator decider. Whose effect I activate? Because at the end of the turn, I will get to add one hero monster from my graveyard to my hand, and I activate fusion substitute effect. Sending the deadly guy back to my ex deck and letting me draw one card. Ugh. Ah, perfect. I activate Mass Shame. What does that do? It sends Destinator to, si to the graveyard and summons <laughs> Mass Hero Anti. <sighs> For this, the mask has now been changed, and you will face a power more powerful monster than you think. And you will attack your power to dragon. Like I'll let you destroy the dragon. I activate my scrap iron once again to protect it. Activate form change. What? Shuffling Anki to the next deck and summoning mass the mass hero acid. Destroying all of your face down and spell trap cards. No. And face up spell trap cards. But, Rainbow Ruins was protected since I still had Crystal Beast at the time. Yes, but now, your monsters also lose 300 attack. And I <sighs> for power to dragon. I can't stop it. <laughs> See? This is what I meant with lockdown. I set one card face on and end my turn. And now, Sogna gets back into my hand because of the Cider's effect. How did this get in here? So why is this power? Why is Advanced Dark in my deck? <laughs> because you might need it. Why do you think I put it in your, all of your decks? I don't need the power of darkness, I just need to win. And I'll act start that by playing Rainbow Dragon's effect. Banishing oh. all my crystal beasts in the graveyard out of this game. I reset the field. Ah. But that's Wait, not over. That's not over just yet. I also have to activate the quick play spell over the rainbow. Special summoning. To finally stop holding back. <sighs> These monsters will be your end. Well, I guess you have enough to beat me. Now. More than Five enough. Thousand. Five thousand. And yeah, almost, and everyone is present for this. Uh, well, good game then. You managed to beat me. Amber Mammoth, attack him. <laughs> Amethyst Cat. Uh, Topaz Eagle. Ruby Carbuncle. And now we left monster. Now, Sapphire Pixis, finish him off. Uh, of course. Good game. Good yeah. game. Yeah. See, I told you, I could defeat you. Well, I guess you could. But did I let you? Or was it your own skill? 
Uh, you always like leaving everyone with questions, don't you? Well, it's the best way to make them wonder and try to improve in case it was just me giving a chance. But you, anyways, you planned this, didn't you? You might need some more information on what's Hold happening. on, hold on, hold what? on. You planned this, didn't you? You saw me lose against Silo, and you thought I was gonna be down on the on the luck, didn't you? That was as for me to know and you to figure out. Now come, we need to have a talk about what's happening right now. Before anything, how did you get here? I don't remember anything coming here. I just remember a few things, like I dueled Richie before here, and afterwards I remember waking up in the dungeon, and then Pegasus just teletransporting me here. Well, I don't remember much of what happened either. I remembered. I know something happened to you, which made me go after you. But how did then, you figure that out? Well, I have my re resources, but I know something that we might need to talk about. Whoa! Close the door. Okay, this is a lot different from mine. Yeah, I I always ever since what what happened, I've been keeping logs, just in case my mind is corrupted in any way. You mean like when you couldn't even remember much after the Ultimae, I think. Yeah, well, that was a bit of a lie. I remember tons of things, but that's not what happened. Because the log I looked after I arrived here, it says some interesting stuff. Oh? It says that Pegasus lost, and he and he lost his control of the Millennium Rod. Does that I mean? I don't know how. Does that mean? I don't know. Wait. I know I felt it, but I don't know why it's there. And, and let me, and let me guess. When you sensed I wasn't around anymore, you figured something had happened. Yeah. Just. You were not around, so I was going to, well, America to see what's happening, and then uh, while on the plane, I, I felt, well, do you Pegasus is losing, and do you think it was? God, not do you think it was anymore. these shadow duelists? Do you remember those guys? Do you think they may have turned yeah. on him, took his power? Do you think someone else may be in charge now? It might be the shadow duelists. It's probably not, since well. He most likely were controlling them. Yeah, but what if he tried to control someone too powerful and he just broke free and took his power? Yes, might be so, but I think it's more like somebody, somebody took control of him. Somebody went to him, beat him, and took the Millennium Rod. Took, well, after that, and after that they. They used the Millennium Rod to make us forget, and make us just see Pegasus did this. That's most likely what happened. I don't know, whenever I think, whenever I try to think of who's doing this, the image of Pegasus just pushes into my mind. That is one of the side effects of the Millennium Rod. Well, it's when it can't mind control somebody, it can manipulate their memory. <sighs> and that is one of the easiest ways to what tell. If Wait, do you remember the stories about the Millennium Ring? How there's an evil spirit that dwells within it. What if there's something similar to that within like the Millennium Rod? What if there's something like that and it just took over Pegasus? What if we're not dealing with a person? What if we're dealing with some kind of spirit? Well, then I wouldn't have felt Pegasus lose the Millennium Rod. Then it would still register well, as being hit. Well, that's like, the thing. Don't forget, a, a spirit is a, is, a, is a separate entity. Just like... Just like Orion was to to Ryan. Yes, but the mil and the Millennium items work differently than the Millennium items. When the Millennium item sphere takes over, it still counts as a person owning the Millennium item, having it. Like Dark is, you know, Dark. <sighs> I believe so. I think I remember him in the competition, except he didn't really last that long. Yeah, I. He, I researched a bit about him and the Millennium Items. He, it seems he was controlled for a bit. 
Really? During that time, he was. It was like it was him owning the, uh, the Millennium Ring. I did hear something like the officials were considering getting him medical help because apparently he was acting unusual during a tournament. Yeah. It was him being desperate. And it's, it was sparked my curiosity against these things happening. Uh, mm. Why do we involve? Why do I involve myself with this stuff? I just wanted to be a good, a strong duelist, and now I'm always being dragged into this thing. Well, you could just, I don't know, ignore and then get deleted. But we need to figure this out. <sighs> we know that it's not Pegasus, and it's most likely not Spirit. And for him to lose a Millennium item, it must have been someone else with a Millennium item. So what you're saying is. Someone here who has a Millennium item is behind this. Yes, it it might be Silo. I think it's possible he had a Millennium item, but then he didn't. It's it's a complicated matter. No, there, I don't think I don't yeah. think so because I just dueled him like you saw. He didn't feel like like it was him, but then again, he could just be hiding it. Yeah. Most likely the person doing this is hiding it. It could be dark and that spirit. It could be panda, even though the life it is, he's been playing us so long. It could be Medvoda. It could have been Anyone here who anyone we don't yeah. know who may have possessed a millennium item. I mean there are millennium items we don't even know of that exist. Yeah. I mean half of the millennium items that panda and all them use yeah. I've never even heard of them in the in even any of the legend stuff there's a reason because of that I I can't tell it now it just it would be too dangerous for it the knowledge to spread out but there's a reason for that I know <sighs> okay well yes what do we do is there a way we can get out of here possibly it's what I'm working on you see this this, this is what I've been able to get. This is a map of the system. And it's confusing. It's like a maze. It's like one end, one path doesn't start and one path doesn't end. Yes, but I can't... This is an encoded version of at least. Because I know a place in here, here, is the foyer of the mansion and the boxing ring is here at the top so what you're saying is we are we're basically trapped into one giant hard drive and this is the only amount of space we have yes and it's been meh. it's weird it's just everything here is just it's supposed to be a maze it's supposed to be some kind of maze like thing Wait. Keeping everybody together and forcing them to do, but something happened to the system which generated this mansion instead. Wait. At least I think so. Wait, wait. Does that mean why we can't find certain people? I mean, we haven't been able to yeah. find Ryan. Maybe, maybe he's in some kind of different instance of this mansion. Yes, some part of this maze hasn't been, haven't art online. And that's the part where people would have spawned. And then when they go online, they just they just go and start up so that this mansion would run better. The one making this system, what did he even plan with it? Something not good. If he's making us duel each other and l delete each other. Yeah. <sighs> but deleting everyone. Wait. What time is it? It's oh no. It's 10 o'clock. Yeah. The time yeah. here time here dilates itself differently. I've noticed that yeah. so far. Yes. It's most like a bug in the system. Anyways. Uh, you, you need to go find someone. Notes. Yeah. I Look through my notes. It might explain more things. I'll see you around soon. Yeah.